Hey, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I am working on another organization task. I've put it off for a long time and I finally have enough stamps that I need to further organize them. I have on my website, stuffandthings.com, a database with all of the sentiments. Then I have my own version of that database that just gives me my own sentiments that I own. However, not always do I have the internet, so I have had on my to-do list for some time to create my index, and it is a, a visual tool. I already talked about the organizing of my stamps where on the stamps and die cases, which everything goes in one of these cases, there's uh, four different colors of dots. These two and then in each case there are two sets of stamps or a stamp and die set for a total of two things that go in each case. So these all have orange dots because they are stamps. So my, my color scheme is uh, orange is a stamp, yellow is a die, green is stamp and die set, and pink gets added once the item is retired. So with that in mind, I finally got to going. I went ahead and bought this book from Walmart. It's a the skinnier, I think it's a one inch, maybe one and a half. And I bought the protective sleeves. Each sleeve is a letter, so that gives me for sentiments two sides for each letter. The only one I've worked on so far, because I wanted to get a handle on what it was going to look like so I chose I had like between T or H and I picked H because of all of the happy birthday sentiments I have finished H and as you can see I don't own anywhere near as many sentiments as somebody who's been collecting for years my stamp collection uh, is gone and I'm rebuilding it so right now it's pretty clean I believe before with my old set H was almost two pages, and so it I had like double what I have today. So I got my highlighters out in the four colors that match the four dots, and I wrote the name of the set. In this case, you'll notice I grouped the itty bitty greetings with the H's. I'm okay if it's upside down or right side up. I I you know I can tell what it's going to look like no matter which way. Of course, if I was being particular, I would have restarted this, but I didn't. I have which catalog it's in and what page. Then I went and highlighted the appropriate color. So in the case of the Hold On To Hope sentiment, it's green because I have the dyes. So it helps me, I think, visually to know what my options are with each of these sentiments and whether there's some dyes that I can go look at. So that is my plan. This was just a quick follow-up and will be part of the storage series. I will come back once it is all done. The next thing I'm going to add to this book, because I ended up with 40 sheets of the protective covers, in the back I believe I'm going to go ahead and also put together some subject matter sent, uh, images like stars, hearts, I don't have hardly any hearts, splatters, dots, and some just generic shapes that I tend to like to pull, especially ones that will generate nice background images. So I will be doing that as a phase two. Hopefully you find all these storage videos interesting and helpful. And this one and a half inch binder is going to fit nicely up above over my couch with all of the other items I have stored up there. Thanks for watching.